Namaste viewers and welcome to Remarkable, a platform for stories of sense and heart sensation. We are here on a very special occasion. It's 15 years for this fabulous airline called the Ethiopian Airlines. They started in 1971 and it's 2021 and they are celebrating 15 years of their flying experience. We have with us the Chief Commercial Officer who is extremely proud about his country, his airline and most importantly, his people. We have with us Mr. Lemma Yadenha Gudeta, and he's the Chief Commercial Officer of Ethiopian Airlines. My one and only question. You mentioned that you have a vision 2035. You're really looking forward to a mega experience with Ethiopia. Can you please tell us what's the remarkable journey for me? Yes, for Ethiopia Airlines, we always plan for the long term. And we seriously work on uh, our five things. One, which is the human resource. And uh, that human resource is, is majorly focused on empowering women to be on the leadership position. Currently, we do have 349 women leaders who are leading different sections. We do have 30 female pilots to commemorate the success story of women in Ethiopia. Because for us, as in Ethiopia, we do protect the ladies and women in laws. We keep them always in a safe place. And we think that the workplace might not be really a place where your ladies to be. It just won't be a type of life they cannot do, but it is to more protect ladies to do somehow less hurting or less laborious jobs um, in order for us to make sure that we have equal opportunity in all the field of engagement. We do have something women islands which are flying with Ethiopia airlines, Air, Airbus and Boeing 737, Boeing 737, Boeing 737, Boeing to commemorate that on March 8th, we do open the whole female operating life. This is what makes special to us, not only female operating, but also 100% female uh, maintained aircraft. The maintenance was done by 100% uh, engineering parts, the maintenance parts, the checks everything was done by women. Then the checking counter staffs are women, the cargo handlers were women, the cutting crew were women, the captain and the, the co-pilot was of some women. It was very uh, what we call amazing and it, it really shows empowerment of women in Africa. And, uh, yes, no, we, we, we are really uh, excited to uh, celebrate uh, this success story in a better way. Uh, we used to come for show, we are planning by 2075, given the composition of flying crew, especially the pilots and cockpit, we will have a sizable number of uh, female women captains. And just one message from your country to India about what what it is that you want to speak about for the Indian audience that why flies over? For sure, number one, Ethiopia as a country and Ethiopians are, as citizens, we are very much cultured. We do really care about the environment and we do care about the citizens. Therefore, if they, whenever they flew with Ethiopia, they would be handled at utmost courtesy. And that is the place where, for sure, women are highly protected and safe. And also, culturally, as Indians like, like or love spicy foods, we do have a very spicy and cuisine which can meet the Indian demand. Yes. Therefore, safety, security, and also a home feeling uh, type is there at So, if you've noticed, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Ethiopia is here to stay and flourish more because they have a long term vision. They're starting Chennai soon. They've already had Bangalore, Hyderabad, Mumbai, and Delhi. And Chennai is the next on card on, in July 2022. Gentlemen, thank you for your time. We appreciate it and have a fabulous day. Thank you very much.